these are these will be the outtakes. Okay, we're recording. <laughs> okay. We'll have all these outtakes. You know how they do on TV and they oh, shoot yeah, these yeah. old. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I gotta do the do the whistle. <laughs> Folks, can I have your attention for just a which side do you like? I think you like over here. Yeah, yeah. Not before. Okay. okay. <laughs> May I have your attention for just a couple minutes, please? Oh, Can't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a natural. I think he's a natural. Yeah, I agree. It's just going okay. along. <clears throat> All right, let's get you, let's get you lost. Oh. The what? No, I think it'll be alright. <laughs> Folks, may I have your attention for just a couple minutes, please? I am the lawman, and this is my prisoner, and we've come to talk to you about the law and the great lawgiver. You see, God has written the law in our hearts. It's called a conscience. And we all have one. And our conscience tells us what's right and what's wrong. And how often do we go against our conscience? And then God has written on tablets of stone the 10 great laws, the 10 commandments. And when we look at the law, we see the very character of God. We see His holiness. We see His righteousness, His purity. And folks, we also see ourselves as we really are. In light of the holiness of God, it's like a mirror. And this man, and this man that stands before you, he represents all of us. He represents you. He represents you. He represents you. He represents me. And he's a lawbreaker. He's in bondage to the law. He represents you. He represents you. He represents you. And he also represents me, and he's a lawbreaker. He's in bondage to the law. He's a prisoner of the law. And folks, I'm going to prove it to you. Folks. I'm going to prove it to you. The law says, God says, don't lie. Have you ever told a lie? I have. And what does it make you if you tell a lie, sir? A liar. Folks, we don't think a lie is that bad, do we? But God, to God, it's a serious crime. God says all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. All liars. Sir, the law says don't steal. Have you ever stolen anything? I have. And what does that make you if you steal? A thief. You don't have to rob a bank to be a thief. Steal a dollar from my wallet instead of a hundred, you're still a thief. God says, never misuse my name. Don't take my name in vain, it's holy. Have you ever misused the name of God? Yes, I have. God considers this blasphemy. We've all done it to blaspheme God. God says, I will not hold him harmless who takes my name in vain. Some of you are saying, yes, I've committed those sins. I've broken those laws, but it's not that bad. I'm still a good person. At least I don't kill anyone. I'm not an adulterer. That type of person deserves hell, but not me. But folks, even these great sins, murder, adultery, you and I have committed as well. Jesus Christ said, here's the standard. You've heard it said, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks with lust in his heart commits adultery. Sir, have you ever looked with lust even once? Yes. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, here's the standard. You've heard it said not to commit murder, but I say to you, if you hate your brother, if you're angry with your neighbor, you commit murder. Sir, have you ever hated or been angry with your neighbor? Yes. And then the greatest command of all, the Lord Jesus Christ said, obey this one. Obey this one and live. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Sir, let me ask you, have you always done this perpetually, continually from the heart? No. By your own admission. By your own admission, you're a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer and murderer at heart, and you haven't loved God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And folks, keep in mind, this man represents all of us. We've broken all the commandments, so I'm going to ask you, how will you escape the wrath of Almighty God? How will you escape judgment? How will you escape hell? 
The wages of sin is justice, is judgment and punishment. How will you escape that? How will you escape judgment and hell? How will you escape the penalty for your sins that you deserve? How will you escape? Well, let me say first that I deserve to be in this outfit. And that this outfit does not, is not real, of course, but it represents my sinnership. But it also represents yours. Because the Bible, our Lord Jesus says that we are condemned already if we have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So according to God's standards, we all stand before God guilty. There's only one way, and that is through Jesus Christ, my Lord. He took away my sins. How did He do that? He lived that life I could not live of sinless obedience to the law of God. And as my sinless Savior, He died the death of the cross, and thus He took my sins on Himself and was punished in my place, so that the penalty of God's law is no longer upon me. Cursed is everyone that doesn't continue in all the commandments of God. But Jesus Christ redeems me from the curse of the law, being made a curse for me. As it is written, cursed is everyone that dies on the tree. He took my sins on him. He wore this suit, as it were, and served my sentence in his living and in his dying, and even in his rising from the dead. And that's my hope. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And that is our only hope. By Jesus taking your sin on himself. By the Lord Jesus wearing this for you. Are you still wearing this? Or has Jesus taken this and worn it in your behalf and paid your sentence for you? Man, they've got Thank you. Even policemen. <laughs> the only way of escape is the Lord Jesus Christ. He took my sin away. He took my guilt on himself on the cross and died in my place and put to death my sin by his precious blood. And so he has taken this, which represents my sins, and he has worn this in my place and in the place of every true believer in him. He is my hope. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I am ashamed of my sins, but I am not ashamed of my Savior Jesus Christ, who took my sin and my shame and my guilt and the penalty for what I deserve for me and for all who trust in Him. Thank you.